so. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Wait the mic. How do you think our relationship will change after meeting in person? Mm. We talked about this kind of. We did, yeah. Um, well, the next five days, mm -hmm. I feel like we're, I feel like it's gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. Cause it's gonna be like, cause I always say that you're my best friend, just mm -hmm. cause we are very, very close. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be like just hanging out like as if you lived here, yes. you know? So I think we that's gonna make it. us more comfortable. We're gonna get to kick it. Kick it. We're gonna get to walk around. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get to like watch T V. Yeah. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. We can drink water together. Water? Yeah. I forgot wine. to drink my water. Wine, hell yeah. Don't say that on T V. Don't say that on T V. I'm just kidding. Um <laughs> Yeah, but then after mm. when you leave, mm. it's definitely gonna be different for sure. I think it'll be better. You think, think so? It, yeah, I think it'll be better. Because we're not we're not physically strangers anymore. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it will be better. Yeah. I feel I like hope. we won't have that that need as much. Mm -hmm. Even though I'd be like, oh I miss you probably. <laughs> but it's like we never had it, so mm -hmm. you know. Or it could be bad. And we could be like We've never had that before, and then it's just gone. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's gonna be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Well, mm -hmm. for my unless I die. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll say play. that. I'll play. You have a flight back, so. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I hope cool. so. My turn. Mm. What do you think connects us? Our minds. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think. I In think what our, way, though? Because yeah, I know about that. Our ability to talk to each other. Yeah. Like, even about, let's say, for the five months, mm -hmm. we were even able to come to each other and talk about that. Yeah. Like, openly and freely. And we usually allow ourselves to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that connects us more than anything because I got to know you on that level before I got to know you like this. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. But, but um, I'd say that's I it. think same too. Uh, just being like long distance and having only what like sight and sound mm -hmm. that's it and so i think that made us understand each other a little mm. better and it's gonna be cool hanging out mm -hmm. <laughs> okay we get to chill today <laughs> what are you what are you hesitant to tell me mm. <laughs> I think I actually have an answer for this. Really? Yeah. All right, cool. So, you know, after the five months, mm -hmm. we we kind of were like taking it slower. Mm -hmm. Well, there was like a few moments, I think, that I was just like, well, because you know what caused the f the us what? not to see five yeah, months, right? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Um, just like I, it was really hard after that because mm -hmm. it was, the reason why I kind of didn't want to do mm. it again is mm. just because I didn't know when I was going to see you, you know? Of course, yeah. And um, it felt like so far away. And it's silly to think about yeah. it it's now because we're right yeah. here. But um, I actually thought about kind of like not wanting to do it really? anymore, yeah. And I was going to tell you. That's fair, though. It was I like a couple that. times, but yeah. I'm glad that I didn't. Yeah, I do. It's fair, though. I understand that. I'm happy that we did do so it. Cold, dude. Yeah, I'm nervous. You need some, I some don't know, warmth. Some, some warmth. Yeah. Later. <laughs> what do you think life is teaching our relationship right now during the pandemic? Um, I guess with us, how we were supposed to meet up, you know, like it was really, we were really bummed out for, I was bummed out for a little bit because. Same. It was, um, 
I was looking forward to like seeing you like in a short amount in between. Like I think it was like two months, right? Since we seen each other last. Yeah. Um so that yeah, that that would have felt a lot nicer than um what we did last year where we waited like nine months in between before seeing each other again. Yeah. Um, how do you think our virtual relationship is different from our in in real one and our real life one? Very. <laughs> Very. Yeah. Because yeah. what's it called? I the the first thing, the main thing I guess is like I'm a physical person, so I like being around you. So yeah, hug you, kiss, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing. And then oh, like being that we both like are doing things. So like you're working, and I still have to go out and get orders and stuff. Like the time doesn't really meet up, but that's yeah. like that's that goes back to like one of our first. That goes back to like the first couple of things that we noticed about being in a long distance relationship anyway. Um, but yeah, I think those are the main things that differ, just the literal closeness of it, the actual being able to see you and do things with you. And Definitely. yeah. In what ways has our communication changed with the quarantine pandemic? Mm. Quarantine slash pandemic. In which ways has it changed since it started? Yeah. Um, I'd just say that like the biggest thing is that we actually did have, you know, to this was supposed to be in person. This was yeah. we were supposed to have um we were supposed to have a whole weekend together with our friends and you were gonna hang out with like my best friend a little more and we were gonna like stay out in LA but um you know and then our anniversary coming up in literally like seven days um, and we had like a, like we had thought of some plans for that as well but it, so it's negatively affected us in, in like meeting and yeah. for we don't even know how long you know well as of now so that's yeah I feel like that's the biggest thing right now for sure absolutely but other than that, I still get to talk to you every day, and you know, as long as y'all are healthy over there and doing doing good, you know, Thanks. then we're always good. How do you think our lives would be different if we never met? Ooh, mm. wow! I think who knows, honestly. I don't think yours would be much different. You don't think so? I don't think so. Because when I that. met you, like, you still have the same, like, passions and stuff. Like, mm. in your, if we're talking about, like, life, mm. yeah, I feel like you would definitely maybe even be further mm. in it or, like, where you are right now, we're still working towards that. But I feel like, I don't know. I mean, obviously things would be different because like <clears throat> this relationship has granted us certain experiences. Definitely. Sure. Like, and how many times you've like visited California? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. In that aspect, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so too. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Yeah. <laughs> if you could go back to the first time we met, what advice would you give yourself regarding our relationship? Mm. that it's a relationship and like it's not just fun and games all the time you know especially in our circumstance our dynamics yeah very true and that um i mean we were young so like i i was actually thinking about this earlier like I don't even I think I ever thought, like, am I ready to be in a relationship? We just... That's a big one, too. We just went in it. Like, yeah. Have you ever thought about that or no? Hell yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. We just kind of started going. And yeah, everything, I didn't even think about it. Everything that comes along with it came along with it. 
And we had to like grow separately mm -hmm. without each other knowing sometimes. Yeah. But I think that's important though, yeah. honestly. Like if you're, even if you're in a unit, a unit isn't gonna work if two people aren't, I don't, not content in themselves, but like if they're not okay with themselves. Yeah, you know? definitely. But as they were happening, it was definitely hard. Yeah, so I think I would say that like, girl, you're young, mm -hmm. you know? You're gonna grow together, like you're in the growing stage. Like you're always growing, but like mm -hmm. when we get more into our older 20s, like we kind of have a set, like what we know mm -hmm. we want from people and what we don't want from people and like the energies we want us around, you know? And when we're younger, we just kind of accept a lot of things for what they are yes. and just kind of move, you mm -hmm. know, without thinking. So I would say just, you know, yeah. it's a relationship. It's true. I think young people accept and romanticize a lot of things about relationships. No, definitely. Like I would say that all... too. Like it's not just flowers all the time and <laughs> yeah. it's crying. It's, mm -hmm. you know, being upset and mad and... I'm getting over it. I'm working right. through stuff. Right. Yeah. My turn. My turn. Damn. <laughs> I'll keep jumping the gun. Why do you think we struggle with sharing our feelings? I think we're both very. Hmm, we're both a very emotional people, but not in. Hmm, Okay, no, we're both very emotional people, but I think if it's like, when it's within a relationship, mm -hmm. even though it shouldn't be hard, because like, you know your partner's with you and you know they're good, yeah. myself, I don't want you to have any of my burdens. Yeah. I tell you that all the time. All the time. I don't want you to have my problems. If it's my problem, it's my problem, which I know is like the, the stupidest thing to say. Mm -hmm. Being the way I am, or how I've been raised, mm -hmm. or what I've learned, I can share it's just a little different. It's a little bit at a time. It's a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> what is the next step in our relationship? Ooh. I think we mentioned that we would like for our relationship to both yes. grow individually, but together. Yes. But, like our own pursuits and stuff. Yes. But it's a must. for me, mm -hmm. definitely like spending more time with each other physically and getting more experiences together. Mm. Cause like even when we went camping, like you see like how certain situations like I react to and just mm. knowing like how we are and like life and stuff. Cause we're not with each other day to day. So yeah. I think maybe possibly thinking about one of us moving somewhere. Yeah. Maybe down the couple, maybe a couple of years. Mm -hmm. place but definitely definitely learning each other in life more yeah things change for sure yeah. when you're with somebody for an extended period of time definitely even the short amount of times that we spend together we learn a lot a lot a lot yeah and i think that's so cool a long-term one would be a whole new learning experience mm -hmm. as it should yeah last question last question how do you love me? How? How do you love me? Mm. Oh, wow. I can ask that in like a completely different way. Yeah, I was going to say there's like two different. different kinds of questions in my head right now. Okay. Would you mind answering them in the different ways I asked them? Yeah. Okay. How do you love me in terms of me being the person I am? How do you find ways to love me? Ah. To show you love or for me just to love you? To love me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I guess like, just taking everything that you are, like the whole, like your whole identity and like everything that's affected you in your life and just accepting it. And if I don't understand, like at least I listen, you know, or I try to understand, or I'm there with you in that moment, even if you don't need me to understand. Yeah. And just loving you as a whole, 
yeah. and accepting all your flaws and everything. I don't know. As a human, I'm a bag of flaws. As a human, accepting you as a human <laughs> and that you're not just your physical form and you have many facets in your soul yeah. that are deeply intertwined and exciting to find out.